Hello, so this is Zara Northover coming to you live and direct from my hotel room in Philadelphia. And um, I was here for the National Association of Multicultural Education Conference, and it was such an amazing experience learning about different racial issues that are taking place, cultural issues that are taking place, and being able to see a lot of the cultural exhibits and presentations and research that's going on. It was an array and wealth of information that I am grateful for and I look forward to going back to my institution, Eastern Michigan University, and sharing with the directors and my, um, you know, my boss. So um, one of the things that I think was an underlying theme, though, was knowing and loving your identity, but while still feeling inclusive of your environment. And you don't want to lose who you are um, while you're embracing where you are. And it's a thing that we all struggle with, you know. I, oftentimes, at some point, we're all a minority, whether you're black, white, Spanish, Native American, you're all a minority because if you're the only person in that specific area, um, then you become the minority at that time. And um, that being said, it doesn't mean you should be secluded or segregated, but it means that you take it as an opportunity to be able to share your culture and you would hope that you would be embraced and loved because of that because we don't want to lose who we are in order to be able to fit in into other areas you be who you are and be happy with it um, another thing that that came to mind this weekend is we're all educators whether like a lot of the presentations I've seen from doctoral students and professors that are out there talking about like their nieces and nephews and grandchildren that have taught them these great lessons that they were able to see things and learning from elementary students and high school students which makes me realize we are all educators because of our experiences and how we view things people are always going to be fascinated with our own ex experiences they're going to be fascinated with how I as an individual see things or the advice I might give and the same goes for you so never doubt yourself never feel embarrassed about maybe not understanding or, or um, feeling indifferent about a situation but be yourself be happy to be yourself and be ready and willing to share about yourself because you're educating and helping someone else by being able to share and another thing I wanted to talk about was being um, not letting people hold you back not letting people keep you down and the reason why I even say that is because I know that I've, I've recently been in some situations where I've been denied um, you know been denied a right an opportunity and I don't I don't even necessarily know why it might be because I'm outspoken it might be because um, I'm passionate about um, you know certain things and I have no problem talking about it I do know that I'm respectful in anything that I might say I'm never disrespectful and harmful to people and I have pure intent but the one thing I've learned is people are not going to like you regardless people are going to love you regardless it's just a matter of what situation you end up in so don't change who you are and don't stop doing what you feel passionate about because of someone or something because at the end of the day they may or may not like you at the end of the day they may or may not accept you so our goal is to work hard to work smart and to rise above because the same people that don't accept you are going to be the same people that you might have to accept or not accept in the future and you have an opportunity when you work ab to rise above to, to be a better person um, to look at things differently and to do things differently and you know even say better person is the wrong way to look at it because no one person is, is better than the next or greater than the next because we're all different and the beauty is in our differences we are similar and because we are different it makes us unique and it makes us all have something to offer one another so that being said the few messages I have today is be accepting of the different cultures and embrace the people around you and learn 
from them because they have so much to offer. Whether someone has made mistakes or made many successes, we can learn from those individuals. Don't disregard and overlook our you know, friends and family because it's easy to overlook them because they're just always there, so you have them by our side. But you know, our friends and family are doing amazing things and there's so many great things that we can learn from them. So you want to make sure that you always embrace them and take a step back and, and listen. Ask questions and, and listen um, from an outside perspective of, of the things that they're doing because you'll realize like, wow, I'm around some amazing people that are doing amazing things and I have a lot to learn from them. And last but not least, be yourself. Don't let a certain person or, feder or group hold you back or make you feel like you're less or not worthy because someone's always going to not like you and somebody's always going to love you regardless of what you do or don't do. So be yourself at the end of the day because you have to live with you. And when you're passionate about something, um, you got to you got to hold focus on you got to stay focused on it and you got to continue to work towards it because someone else that doesn't have your vision or have your passion can't do the work for you you have to do the work yourself and keep moving forward eventually you're going to find a perfect fit or someone that agrees with you or that will support you but you don't want to stop being who you are or change who you are because even when you change, there's going to be someone else that doesn't like or respect or treat you the way that you need to be treated. But either way, you should at least make sure that you have a pure heart and are genuine when you do the things that you do. And, um, and make sure that you are respectful in all situations, embrace people, and just continue to strive to be better. Continue to move in faith. So here from Philly in my hotel room, I just want to say thanks for checking in and listening. I love you all. Have a great night and um, rest of the week. Love you. Keep moving in faith. And check me out on Twitter at Zara Northover. Bye. Mwah.